how to build a fish trap when the world has ended, and more importantly, why would you even need it? Because canned food ran out, the rivers glow, and protein is a myth now. Welcome to Apocalypse Survival, where survival science is just desperation with style. The oceans are toxic, the lakes hiss, and the rain tastes like batteries. No nets, no hooks, no patience left. But fish still exist, somewhere between mutation and miracle. Let's hunt them like scientists, not survivors. Find a plastic bottle, a wire mesh, or the last piece of trash you haven't burned yet. Cut the top off, no need for precision, chaos is efficient. Step one, shove the top inside out, like your optimism. Step two, tie it up with whatever's not radioactive. Step three, bait it with regret or dead insects, whichever smells worse. Toss it into the glowing water and wait. If it catches something edible, you win. If it doesn't, congratulations, you just invented modern art. If it bites back, that means dinner's still alive. Fish traps work because flow and shape create a one-way path. Simple physics, terrible ethics. The funnel design tricks movement, like marketing, before the collapse. That's survival science. Predictable, cruel, and effective. No rod, no reel, no problem. Just trash, string, and bad intentions. That's survival hack number 10. Next time, we'll cook what we catch, if it doesn't cook us first.